Joey Lynch, he joins us. No quarterback in this class for you, but you have no shortage of skill position players for Riley Neal to play with. Uh, you like this group? Yeah, we do. You know, we, we set out in this class, we, we want to just create more competition in all the skill positions. And uh, when you look at our class and who's, who, who we're going to sign, we're definitely going to upgrade our, uh, our skill level. And, and uh, we really believe competition brings the best in everybody. So uh, really excited about the class that we brought in so far. The receivers specifically, you've got five of them coming in, and, and obviously you lost a guy like Kevon Maybon and a couple of other guys with the class that graduated in 2016. So having to fill some holes there, and, and what excites you the most about the, the group of receivers you're bringing in? Yeah, you know, all five of them can really play. Of course, we're excited about that, but when you look at their skill sets, they're all a little bit different. And when you talk about bringing in, you know, five guys and kind of completing your, your receiver roster, uh, you don't want to have all the same guys. So you look at someone like Justin Gibbs, who's a bigger body kid, 6'2", 208 pounds, uh, can really high point the ball, be physical, uh, really physical in the run game. Uh, and then you go to someone like Justin Hall, who is a true slot receiver that can make all the plays, you know, get them the ball different ways. Um, so, you know, all those guys are going to fill a need and do something different for our offense. And, um, you know, you can never have enough playmakers. And there's no question, I think, um, with, with those five guys, we got everything covered. We say this with one running back name still expected to be announced in this class as well, uh, but we'll address the guys that we can talk about so far to this point. Uh, you've got Caleb Huntley, who is not a running back. He's a Mack truck. Uh, in addition to uh, Marquise Hurt, who we just introduced as well, describe the dynamics of that room now because you lose Teddy Williamson, but you bring back James Gilbert, first-team all-conference running back, uh, a lot that we saw, uh, obviously, in the career of Darian Green. Uh, you've got a really good room how does all of that mesh together now, and are there enough balls to go around as far as handoffs and, and guys that could contribute early to make that interesting? Yeah, no question. And once again, competition makes us all better. And, and uh, we're not afraid to play with different personnel. At times this year, we were in 30 personnel, and um, you said it. You know, of course, James Gilbert uh, is a great football player, and we expect him to keep getting better and better. And Darian Green's made a ton of plays for us, and then Malik Dunner's a young guy that we're very, very high on. Uh, but when you look at the guys we're going to bring in this class, you know, of course, with Caleb uh, already uh, already signed this morning and, and Marquise, you know, they're totally different. And, uh, right away, Caleb just brings that big physical presence that, that, that we were set out for in this class. That when we said we're going to um, go find the best football players, the one thing we definitely were going to do is get that big back. And, and uh, there's no question Caleb fits that need. And then Marquise is, um, you know, a kid that came to camp, and, and he showed us. And he is that Darian Green mode that can run the football but can play in the slot. Um, really, really explosive. Um, did an unbelievable job for us at camp, and, and we knew right then that he was a guy that was going to make us uh, better in our program. And, and uh, uh, so really, really excited about that, and there's no question that room uh, has a bunch of you know, uh, talented kids, but that's a good thing for Ball State. If, if we talk about uh, another individual here, go back to the receivers if, if we can. Uh, you look at a guy like Khalil Newton, and I, and I know recruiting rankings aren't everything, but it's always good to get a guy who's as highly rated as he is amongst the top in your class in those rankings. Uh, what's the scout on him, and, and, and I guess what excites you most about what he could bring to the table? Clearly a guy with a lot of talent. Yeah, he, he's one of those guys that, that can really do anything, you know, in our opinion. You, know, you, you see him on tape, and he can run away from you with his speed. He, he has great ball skills, can high point the football, uh, has a little shake, can play in the slot, can play outside. Um, he, he's just one of those guys that, that uh, is going to make a lot of plays for us down the road, and, and that's kind of what I was talking about. I know I, I threw out Justin Gibbs being our biggest receiver and, and Justin Hall being our smallest, and, and you know, Son Littles and Ethan Merriweather. All those guys are, are, you know, bring something to the table, and um, there's no question. You know, I've been here a long, long time, and um, this, this is a class from a skill position point on offense that uh, I think it's the best we've ever brought in.